Can you see it? Okay. There we are. The garden orb spider. And they have started to occur in great profusion for some reason this year. I can't remember a time where I've seen as many of them as we have this year. Normally it is the golden orb de variety as opposed to the garden orb web, but there it is. And of course, we don't often see them in the carts, normally on walk, which means a steady shot like this is quite difficult to achieve. Is that super zoomed, Vim? Ah, look at the detail there. Now, at the back, you can see that sort of almost four-lipped orifice at the back of the spider, that is, those are the spinnerets, and it is from there that the silk emanates when it is building this remarkable web. And then in front, you can see quite large pedipalps, which are the sort of top mouth parts there. Well, I mean, front, by front, I mean sort of underside of the picture there. And all of the legs emanating from the same spot. And as, yeah, as we zoom out, just look at the intricacy of the web, the accuracy with which it's been built. And not a great deal in the way of any shells. Now, we know that the golden orb web spider will keep the empty husks of what it's been eating on the web. And we think that that serves much the same purpose as those white strands underneath the spider. That's called a stabilimentum. We think that the purpose of both the dry husks of the golden orb web spider and the stabilimentum of the garden orb web spider have much to do with trying to stop big things that the spider wouldn't be able to eat flying into the web and destroying it and making them have to make it again. So we think that's what's going on there. Gorgeous. Marvellous. Let's carry on.